Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Corinne, also known as Caked Cory. How you guys doing today? I'm doing good. I'm comfy as you can see. My hair is up in a bun because I didn't carry today. I actually like my hair up a lot now. I used to not like my hair up and now I just like, it just is out of my face and I love it. Um, I'm wearing my little cozy sweater because it's cold over here where I'm at. Um, I just did a little natural makeup look today. We're not really going over like what I'm wearing. It's just we're going to talk about new launches today and this is a newer video for me. Not something that I usually do, but I have been watching a lot of new launch videos and just like their opinions on stuff like Samantha March's and Angelica Nyquist. I can't say her last name, but Angelica. She just came out with the Nebula palette from Kaleidos. Definitely should go check that out. But yeah, so I like watching these uh, videos and I thought that maybe you guys would like watching them too. I have a lot to talk about today a lot so I'm gonna get into it and I'm sorry if this video is long and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe and if you're new here hi welcome to my channel my name is Corinne if you like talking about makeup and just having fun or if you're bored and you just want to watch a video I'm here for you so let's get into the video all right so before we get started I am gonna let you guys know that I will put all of the information in the description box where I got the pictures descriptions uh, their Instagram so you can link to the items or you can also follow them and get your own updates and have your own thoughts before you watch these videos but I will also verbally say them as I'm going over each product or each um makeup line so we're gonna start off with Rare, Rare Beauty I did get this off the Rare Beauty uh Instagram so this isn't new new um a lot of the stuff that I do have is gonna be launching this week already or in a few weeks so for Rare Beauty we do have the Stay Vulnerable collection I will put pictures here and they have cream blushes, cream eyeshadows, and glossy lips right now. I am excited for her brand and what else she's going to release, but I don't think I'm going to pick up anything from this line. I just wanted to start off with that because I did do a video previously on the Rare Beauty line. Maybe I'll pick up an eyeshadow, but I'm not a huge like cream eyeshadow fan, but I heard that they're really good, so possibly. And I might get a glossy lip in the future, but other than that, I already have a cream blush. I don't need another one. Um... But I'm excited for what her brand has in store. So I just like to say that. So next up, we're going to be talking about Real Techniques. This is a brush brand. They do have a soft glam collection coming out. And it's going to be considered a looks brush collection. It's exclusively available at Ulta. And it's available now. Um, I did get a description from the Real Techniques Instagram. It says it's designed for luxe application and smooth blend. And then via That's So Taupe. Um, they have the brush names there, and they all start with Soft Glam, but I'm just going to read the initial Soft Glam, and I'm going to go in with all the different brushes they have. So they have the Soft Glam Primer Brush, they have an Eye Trio Brush, Facial Toning Bar, Complexion Brush, Sculpted Blush Brush, Finishing Brush, <laughs> Luxe Highlighter Brush, Body Glow Kabuki Brush, Foundation Brush, Filtered Cheek Brush. Uh, sheer Radiance Fan Brush, and then they have two items that are not brushes that are going to be in this collection, which is the Brush and Sponge Cleansing Gel and the Instant Brush brush Spray Cleanser. So the prices vary from like $6.99 to $12.99, which is definitely a steal, like a brush for $12.99, like that's the most you pay for it, like that's not bad. I definitely love the brand and I buy a lot of their brushes. Will I get this collection? Possibly. Um, I love how it has the gold handles as a little rhinestone and they're pink and white like I love pink so possibly I might get them. Am I going to run out and get them right away? No, but who knows? I'll probably pick it up. I'm not opposed to them. They're really good. Alright, and then we have Kiko Milano here and I don't necessarily know where they're sold at. Well, I take that back. Okay, they're on Ulta. So we know that they're on Ulta.com. I don't think I've seen them in Ulta and I don't ever really see them anywhere else. But they do have the new Mood Boost collection for spring. Oh my god, there's so many things in this collection. So I'm just going to start off by reading everything off. It's a very, very big collection. It's available now, um, obviously on Ulta.com. Don't know where else. Um, via that, so taupe. So I got their pictures and description off of this website. Good Vibes Only Face Palette. Perfecting Powder. Matte Bronzer. Matte for Color Eyeshadow Palette. It has two variations. There is the Radiant Blush, Pearls of Light Highlighter, Brightening Serum, Luminous Foundation that has only eight shades, which I'm not very 
like pleased with you know happy about like eight shades mm, could have done a little better transforming face cleansing balm a three-in-one all over stick which comes in four shades born to shine lip stylo four shades enchanting lip gloss four shades glittery liquid eyeshadow four shades long lasting eyeshadow and eyeliner four shades matte me lip pencil four shades you make me matte lipstick six shades three-in-one mascara nail lacquer four shades a lot I feel like my voice just got higher as I kept reading but it does the prices vary from like six to twenty two dollars and I think the most that was twenty two dollars was like the foundation I want to say which is kind of a little steep for a brand that's considered to be drugstore um it's a little overpriced but I think like the packaging is pretty I like the pinks again um not really excited to like go out and buy this collection I really don't think I am gonna pick up anything honestly I am a little disappointed that it's only eight shades for foundation and if you're gonna come out with something this big like a collection this big I think you need to have more shades or just don't come out with a collection that big honestly I think it's cute you know it's for spring it's I don't know I just don't think I'm gonna be picking anything up uh I think it's a little too big for the drugstore. You don't really hear about drugstore people or drugstore brands coming out with that many products in one launch. And I know we haven't seen a lot from them, but they have released a few things for holiday last year. So I'm kind of like, this is a pretty big launch. All right, and then next we have BH Cosmetics. They have a new Amethyst February eyeshadow palette, as you can see here. Before I say anything else, this is beautiful. The concept is just perfect. So it is available now for $9, which is definitely a good price. Via Makeup World News, I have the pics and description from them. Become a vision in violet with amethyst for February. This stunning vegan array of multifaceted royal purple mauve and rose tones and high impact finishes is known to bring balance and obviously beauty to anyone who wears it. It's very an innovative and good idea. Like I just said, I think this is a great concept. I like how they're going to be coming out every month with their own gemstone palettes like who thought of that like that was a great idea like even though it's not like oh gemstones birthstones horoscopes all of that can be so overplayed i haven't heard of a gemstone one have you heard of a gemstone collection i haven't and i think that this is a great idea and they're little they're not something that's going to be big and overpowering your whole collection and i think it's good for the people that are actually born in that month like it gives them something like oh i want this because it's my gemstone and even if I'm not a February, I'm not a February baby, like I was born in August, but I'd still want to buy this. Like, this is really cute. I like the color scheme. So I definitely like it. Definitely like the price. Um, I don't know if I'm going to pick it up right away, but I definitely think that this concept is just a great idea. Next up, we're going to be talking about Makeup Revolution. They have a new Roxasaurus collab. Uh, I believe her name is Roxy. I don't, honestly, I don't really know who this girl is, but I know she has a lot of collabs and I do like some of her stuff that she does have with Makeup Revolution. Um, it's available now on their site and beautybay.com. I got this via Makeup World News, the eyeshadow palettes, lashes, brush set, and eyeliner is what's going to be in the collection. It's a Cozy Vibes eyeshadow palette for $20. It's a must have. Featuring a mix of 18 cool tone neutrals and matte shimmer and foil finishes. It's more sophisticated than what I'm used to getting from them. Like, I kind of think that this packaging is pretty. I like the color scheme. It's not so vibrant, which I think is pretty. But at the same time, it's very not interesting at the same time. Like, I like the colors, but at the same time, you have, like, four or five different bare nude colors in this palette you have four or five different pink tones and then reddish brown tones like I've seen it before it's overplayed I don't think I'm going to be picking this up but if you want a palette like this and it's from Makeup Revolution and it's going to be cheap because it's from them I definitely think you should check this out like the brushes the lashes honestly look really cute too and might pick those up um other than that she does a lot of good collabs with Makeup Revolution it's just not what I need and what I need for my collection you know I am going to look up Roxy and put a face to her name so I can see what she looks like because I don't know why that kind of bugs me when I don't like I see collabs and I don't know what they look like or I don't know who they are like I have to go and start researching and seeing who they are and like what they look like I don't know why it's just some weird thing that I have to do but uh the next one is gonna be Mac and it's gonna be limited edition and I just like to say this now this is available in Taiwan and Asian markets 
Asian markets. It's literally what it says. And I was like, okay, like Asian markets, like actual Asian markets in these countries or like Asian countries or like, I don't really know what that means, but it's the Mac Black Cherry Collection. I've seen this before. I swear I've seen this, like this is the third time seeing this, this Cherry Blossom Collection. It's very overdone and I'm just, honestly, I, this, honestly, it irritates me seeing this up here. <laughs> and it says it may be available on website and it says to be continued. They don't know exactly right now if they're going to be having it in other countries, it sounds like. So I got this via Makeup World News pics and description from them. The collection includes lip products, blushes, liner, MAC Fix Plus, and more. And that's literally all that they said about it. I'm not going to touch so much on this. I just don't want anything from this line. I think it's overplayed and I just wish I could see more from MAC that is just more innovated than the same Cherry Blossom collection that we've seen three times. Moving on. The next one is going to be, I don't know if I'm saying this name wrong, but it's by Rado or by Redo. I don't know if I'm saying this correctly. I've never heard of this brand before. I just had to put it in here because I'm just astonished of how much this palette costs. Prismatic Eyeshadow Palette. It's going to be available February 4th for $96. This. $96. This thing right here. <sighs> Via Trend Mood 1, the pics and description. It's a very... It's a very... It's a versatile palette that allows you to create super soft color, wet or dry on high or high impact, dense color with a rich metallic texture when wet. It is truly a rainbow spectrum of color. It includes 18 shades for $96. I'm Like I said, I've never heard of this brand. It doesn't really make sense to me. It, I mean, if you like color, I guess you would like it. I just think that $96 for this palette is ridiculous. I went and looked up this brand afterwards. They have a lot of, I want to say like lifestyle like products. Like that's all that I really could tell from their Instagram and then this palette. And I'm just kind of like, am confused and really like you could get this from Makeup Revolution. Literally the same exact palette. No joke. There's a palette that looks exactly like this for way, way cheaper, like 12 bucks. And I just think that $96 for this is just ridiculous, especially from a brand that I feel like not a lot of people know about. And you're going to put $96 on a palette like this. I'm a little heated from that, if you could tell. And now, welcoming to the stage, Ofra Cosmetics, the new Ride or Die collection. Available now. I have been liking Ofra Cosmetics. I've been getting more into them, so I'm excited for this. And I'm excited because I've thought of this idea and they executed it. It's like they went in my head and they knew exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> Via Trend Mood 1, the pics and description, it includes blush, blush, blushers, but it's spelled with a Z. Blushers, it's said the same, it's just whatever. It's a bronzer and a blush duo. Then it's into one pan, comes with perfect match of liquid blushes. You can use separately or together. So... As you can see here in the picture, they're duo pans with a blusher and a blush, and then you also get the liquid blush with it if you buy the kit. I actually think that's so smart because I've always thought people do liquid blushes on YouTube videos and they grab a separate bronzer or a separate blush and they like pat it on top. But it's like, why doesn't a company make the same shade in a cream and a powder and sell them together? Do you know how much money they could be making and like not even just about the money like that's just like ease like when I think of that for myself like I I thought of that myself that's why I think they went in my head and took this idea from me but like this is so smart and I don't know why other brands haven't come out with this yet like this is very very smart <laughs> there is the crew duo for $35 it's a blusher and crew for $29 originally or like separately then we have the liquid blush and authentic that's $15 alone we have the unit duo which is the blush bronzer and blush duo and then we have the blusher in units for $29 separately or the liquid blush and loyal for $15 separately then we have the squad duo for 35 that's the blusher and squad for 29 separately and then liquid blush in truly $15 separately so I am curious also if they're 
liquid blushes are good because if they are, I think I'm going to pick them up separately. I do like the blush duo, bronzer duos also. I have yet to try a lot of their face products, so I'm kind of like, I don't know if I need those right now. I also want to pick up stuff from Samantha March's collection, so I'd rather spend my money on that right now than this right away. One thing that I'm not like highly happy about or excited about is that they only came out with three shades. Like, I'm very skin toned and like a lot works on me and I can make a lot work, but I feel like this deep red blush is like the only thing you have for deeper skin tones and I feel like that's kind of like not okay like I feel like if you're like three okay like that's your starting collection but I think if you're gonna say it's a collection you need to be putting out also more than three shades and I think maybe they can make the middle shade work that deeper shade but at the same time I don't have dark skin so I don't know but I feel like they should have had more deeper colors too not just these light colors honestly so that's a little bit what I'm kind of like uh, about but I think it's pretty like I said it's a very innovative concept I thought of it first but it's fine I'm gonna let you take the credit Ofra I'm excited to see if Ofra like keeps those or like keeps doing that concept I would like to see more colors like lighter deeper and maybe this is just an initial release to see how they're gonna do but I definitely think we need to have more shades just saying Next up is Urban Decay. They have the new Naked Wild West palette. Let me tell you, when I woke up and saw this, I was like, okay, okay, this is pretty. I can get with this. This is good. It's available February 8th for $49. Um, I'm wondering if that's cheaper than other Naked palettes because I feel like when I've paid for my past Naked palettes, it's like $53, so like a little bit cheaper. I'm not sure. But via Trend Mood 1, the pics in description, 12 Dever... <laughs> 12 desert inspired neutral eyeshadows from pale peach and metallic bronze to deep blue green and turquoise shimmer mattes metallics and shimmer finishes inspired by california's deserts joshua tree and endless skies it's also vegan and cru cruelty free so i think the colors are very nice um a little thing i'm skeptical about is that it's literally like a turquoise and a teal color that really make this whole palette I feel like they should have added a little bit more greens or blues or turquoise. I do get how they're trying to stay neutral and add little pops of color, but I think you could have added at least two or three more shades of color for this palette. Like all of these other shades we've seen in other Naked palettes. That's the only thing that I'm skeptical about. I do think they are on the right track as to rebranding and just doing their Naked palettes better, honestly. The packaging is beautiful. The packaging is gorgeous. The one thing I'm a little skeptical on also is Wild West. Wild West. When I think of the Wild West, when I read that and it said Wild West, I'm thinking of cowboys. I'm thinking of a cowboy movie, a Western movie. And I'm not a huge fan of Western movies. I'm going to say that right now. And I thought of that and I was like, what? Like, and then you have the pretty color in the background of that and it looks like a snake and I'm like okay and I kind of just like I don't know where they're going like why they did that honestly and I literally wrote down some other options so why not call it desert skies or why not call it desert dusk or why not like call it something desert something or like something different like like I just don't get it like wild west like, it just sounds so goofy to me and it like the they're like right there they're always just right there and they just need to be right here like they're literally so close and I don't know who named this palette or who they allowed to name this palette but I think it just sounds so goofy and even that just makes me look at the palette more I'm like you're literally named Wild West but you're pretty but you're named Wild West like I'm sorry I'm ranting but I honestly probably won't pick this up, even though it is pretty. Um, I probably won't pick it up just because all of my Naked palettes that I have had from them are decluttered or I just don't use, so I don't think I need this. I do think their past Naked palettes have been great and I think this one would be great. I just wish they would tweak it a little more because they're always right there. They're just not at the top. <laughs> and next up, why am I not surprised that this is on my list? The ColourPop new Valentine's Day collection. 
yeah guys valentine's day is coming up it's like in a week <laughs> i love valentine's day i love it i love purples i love reds i love pinks and guess what valentine's day is all those colors and i just love it and i love hearts i'm a girly girl what can i say it is coming out february 3rd so i believe the day i'm filming this is the day that it comes out so today's february 3rd so it'll already be available um, via trend mood, we have pics and descriptions. Everything looks beautiful, by the way. I love this collection. I think it's very cute. Three eyeshadow palettes, $10 each. We have the Smack eyeshadow palette, $143, and Melt For You. Then we have three blushes for $10 each in Kiss and Tell, My Type, Love Me Not. And they come in like this really cute heart packaging. We have a heart mirror. And I believe that, I don't have a price here, but I believe that was like $9 or like $12. I saw it on their website earlier. It's $9 or $12. Then we have Soul Body Face and Body Highlighter and Pink Truffles for $10. We have the Soul Body Shimmering Dry Oil and, <laughs> and Pink Truffles for $10. I like fumbled my words there. Then we have the 4th Ray Beauty Set for $20 with the Rose Overnight Lip Mask, the AM to PM Gel Cleanser, Fresh, Fresh AF <laughs> Energizing Mist, and Rose Face Milk. Then we also have the Cutie Mark Heart base stamp for eight dollars so it's like the little stamp that's red and like has a little heart um i think i have a picture here of it but i think that everything is like pretty in this i like i said i love valentine's day i think if i was to pick anything up i do like the blushes and i think i would do the pink and like that brown tone blush because i'm really into like brown tone blush so i think i would do that the palettes maybe the pink one is like the only one that really stands out to me not a huge fan of like red eyeshadow the other one's kind of like a rosy toned red mauvey color i think that's cute so i might pick that up i definitely like the mirror i've been looking for like a handheld mirror and i do like that mirror i mean it's not like anything special it's a heart-shaped mirror i do like it though the 43 beauty set looks like that it's all just like pre-existing things they have in their line but they're just like bundling them all together for a valentine's day collection which isn't bad i just don't need it um of course this collection went up at 10 a.m this morning and you know what i wasn't up at that time so i went later on and looked and basically most of the stuff was sold out except for some of the eyeshadow palettes i think i was more intrigued by the blushes because they're just really cute and like the colors were nice so yeah, most of those, are, I think those are already sold out, so I missed that mark. So I'm hoping that they actually restock. They have their own production place, so like, I don't know why they take forever to restock. So I'm hoping that they restock at least before Valentine's Day or have it for the rest of the month of February. I do also like that brands are coming out with more Valentine's Day stuff because, you know, I love pinks and reds. I think that's cool. I think it's cute. I don't think you need a huge collection for it. Um, but this is cute. I like this collection. So I might pick something up. We'll see if they restock it. Then we have Beauty Blender. And we haven't heard a lot from Beauty Blender. Like, they just came out with the uh, sponge or whatever. But this is the new Bounce Soft Focus Gemstone Setting Powder. Gemstone Setting Powder. Mm. Available March 1st. And then it's going to be via Trend Mood 1. The pics and description. Silky Setting Powder Smooth and Locks Makeup and place for an airbrush finish without any caking and flashback it cancels shine absorbs oil and keeps your glow sorry i couldn't read my writing for a second but they have still yet to confirm the shades and prices and it's not available until march 1st so this is like a whole month away but i'm excited to see what it's like because i like their um what is it the bounce airbrush foundation or it's the bounce foundation i love that I didn't realize I was gonna love that as much as I did and when I got it I was like wow this is great like why have I not been using this and I love it I also did just pick up their concealer and I've used it a few times and I already decided that I love it too so I'm hoping that their powder is gonna be good I'm not a huge like I need this powder like when powders come out I'm not like I need this but like this powder I need it like I need it if I like everything else in their brand I'm gonna like this I hope it says gemstone setting powder. I don't know. I want to say they call it gemstone because at first I was like, why are they calling it gemstone? I want to say they're calling it that because it cancels shine and absorbs oil, but it keeps your glow. And I think gemstones are like sparkly and like they kind of remind me of something that glows. So I think that's kind of like 
what they're trying to come off as is it's gonna be a powder but it's you're still gonna be able to see like your natural shine through it so I think that's why it's called gemstone but honestly I'm excited for it I'm curious to see how much it costs and yeah can't wait then we got Dominique Cosmetics I haven't tried anything from them so I just want to say that now but they have the new transition palette available now for $48 beautiful right here uh, via Trend Mood 1, the pics and description, everyday go-to I am face palette that can do it all. Define, contour, brighten, highlight, and more? What? Create endless looks with these 15 long-wearing blendable matte pigments. Pigments. Didn't say eyeshadows. They called them pigments. Um, I think that's a smart idea, honestly. Like, it's innovative in a sense. Like, I know a lot of people are like, well, you can go into an eyeshadow palette and, like, just do this what they just did and you can use an eyeshadow as like a bronzer like a this is a bronzer and that is a highlighter i get it like they basically just put on their palette you can use this as a face palette but i think it's smart that they branded it that way at first i looked at this and i was like i don't really like care for this like this is just like a matte eyeshadow palette i'm not a huge fan of these palettes but like after reading the descriptions and like really looking at it i was like there's some good tones in here and like there's actually a lot of different contour shades and I think deeper skin tones would really like this also and I just think like they made it look like an eyeshadow palette but it's a face palette. Like a lot of people or a lot of brands put out these face palettes that are like bronzer, blush, highlighter and they're bigger and then you have the little tiny like eyeshadow palettes and honestly or the eyeshadow like little things and honestly those like really intimidate me and I don't end up really using all of those because I'm not going to go into an eyeshadow palette and then go and get the face this face palette that has eyeshadows in it also like I it just it's too much I don't know why I'm just not a huge fan of those things so I like that they did this and they made them all the same size pan they don't put the pressure on it to be a face palette or be an eyeshadow palette or be contour or be blush it's whatever you want it to be. It can be any of those things, but it's what you want it to be. And I just, I don't know. Tell me if you're a little freaked out by those face palettes that are half face, half eyeshadow, because they kind of freak me out a little bit. Honestly, I end up just using the highlighters more or the blushes more, or I just end up using the eyeshadow more and I don't use the face side. I don't know what it is, but those just, I'm just not a huge fan of those, honestly. And I think that this is smart and I think they're smart about the way that they branded this and I also heard that the pan size are like a pretty good size so they're not tiny where you don't where you can't fit like this brush in there you know what I mean like that's smart like that was smart to think of so and I think that from the releases that I've seen from this brand they're very like meticulous and I think that they think through a lot of things before they actually release things so I think that I think that's great and I love seeing smaller brands or like brands that are just coming out and do that. So I'm excited to see what they have in store. I don't know if I'm necessarily going to get this because I don't need it. But I think it's great. Alright, and now we got My Guy Morphe. We got the new Filter Effects Soft Focus Foundation. Yes, we got a foundation from them. It's going to be available January 31st online. So it's already available. And it's going to be in stores February 16th. So it's in 40 shades for $20. Uh, I do think the shade range is great. 40 shades from Morphe. I think that's a great, I think that's great, honestly. For $20, I don't know, I'm a little like maybe $15 should have been better. $20 from Morphe is like a little eh. So we'll see if people like it because maybe then I'll be more apt to buy it for $20. But via Trend Mood 1, pics and description, we got an oil-free skincare infused foundation that delivers a natural finish for healthy looking skin. Oh, okay. Hyaluronic acid boosts moisture levels and vitamin E delivers antioxidants protection. We also have pore blurring pigments that diffuse the look of imperfections. Natural buildable coverage, long wearing, sweat proof and transfer proof. Free of oils, fragrances, and par parabens, and it's crafted in Italy. They also have a microfiber sponge and an E63 wide angle foundation brush in this collection. Uh, so I am intrigued by the foundation. I don't really care for the like little sponge or the um, brush, 
but at first like I kept seeing this foundation I was kind of like I don't care like Ella whatever blah 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 and I kept like brushing it off I was like whatever like their last foundation wasn't great I have heard nothing about that foundation after I heard that it was bad like everyone just wrote it off so it was kind of like eh, I don't really care for this foundation reading those claims though that it's supposed to have hyaluronic acid vitamin e pore blurring long wearing sweat proof transfer proof I was kind of like I'm a little intrigued now. Am I intrigued for $20? I don't know. I think I'm going to have to wait to see like reviews before I buy it, honestly, because I'm a little skeptical also because it has a lot of claims. That's a lot of claims. I have seen some people that have said it's good so far, but I want more. I want people to review it more so I could see if I really like that, honestly. Because $20 is for that is a little steep, honestly. For a drugstore brand, like if it was Estee Lauder or like, obviously those are like $40. Like I would, I would pay the money for it. But like Morphe, it's like 20 bucks and I don't know how it's going to be. But it does have a lot of claims, so I'm skeptical about it. Uh, $20, like I said, I don't know, like maybe $15. $15 maybe I can get with. I don't think 10. 10 too low. 15 yeah. I do like that the shade range. I do like that shade range. That's very, very, very good, honestly. For a drugstore to have that type of shade range or drugstore brand, I think that's really cool. Now we got my best friend, Elf Cosmetics, with a new Lunar New Year collection. It's available now via Trend Mood 1. I got pigs in description. We have the Year of the Ox. Includes Prime and Set Kit for $18. It's going to have the Poreless Putty Primer, the Halo Glow Setting Powder, and Medium. And a powder brush. They also have a Sweetheart Hydrating Lipstick Kit for $22. They're going to be $6 each individually if you want to just get those instead of getting the whole kit. We have Lovely, which is going to be a light red, Joyful, a pink rose, Cherry, a coral, and Giddy, an orange. So I think these sets are like really cute. Like I think that this is a cute curation. When it comes to Lunar New Year stuff, I don't really pick that up because... It usually tends to pull more reds in it, like reds, browns, and I think yellow. And I love yellow and browns, but reds I'm not a huge fan for of the eyes, like on the eyes, you know? So I don't really pick up like Lunar New Year products. I do think that the Halo Glow Setting Powder Kit is very cute. I do think the balms are cute also. This is like a cute set. I don't think I'll be picking it up because I don't need any more of their lip balms. I have a lot. Uh, the Halo Glow Powder, I'm a little skeptical why they would do it in a medium color. I also have never tried that powder because I'm an oily person, so I can't really use a Halo Glow Powder. I use like a matte powder, but I just don't know. If that comes in a translucent, translucent color, why wouldn't you put that in a kit that most people will buy? Like, why would you put medium? I mean, I don't know. Maybe medium is a lighter shade, but I just... Like, I feel like a lot of brands, when they do that, they do translucent or they do light. Even though, I don't even think they should do light either, but, like, translucent is, like, a virtual color for everyone. So, like, I don't know why they would do medium. A little skeptical, you know? But I don't think it's bad. Like, I think these are cute. I just don't think they're for me, honestly. And last but not least, we have Milk Makeup, the new color chalk. This is the last thing that I found before I was going to start filming. I was like, oh! What is this? It's going to be available February 5th online and February 12th in stores. It's available in 14 shades. There's uh, no cost yet to see how much these are going to be. I also can't tell how big they're going to be. I think they're going to be like, I don't even know if that's correct. Let me see. I want to say like this big, just like to my face for reference. Like, <laughs> like I don't think they're going to be huge, but via, tr uh, via Milk Makeup, we have the pics in description. It's a clean extruded powder pigment in solid stick format that glides on smooth for buildable payoff on eyes cheeks lips it comes in a peel off wrapper and portable reusable tube so you can take it with you anywhere it's easy to apply solid chalk stick provides silky shimmering payoff and builds bolder color you can use it wet or dry use an eyeshadow blush eyeliners lip color highlighter blend with fingers or brush and then once again it comes in a peel off wrapper and protective reusable portable flip top tube it's a lot to say so you're not left left with unnecessary packaging pan or waste 
And then also the tube is made of recyclable materials. So that was a lot for this little chalk thing. Uh, I like that they're doing the tube as like recyclable materials. And I like that they're concerned about packaging and plastic and cardboard and all of that for the environment. I think more brands need to be aware of that. So I like the concept that they're making it recyclable. I like that. Um, I think this is a very different type of release. I don't know if I'm necessarily going to pick it up for myself. And when I think of like chalk, I literally think of pastel colors. Like chalk to me isn't vibrant. So the fact that they're calling it chalk and then they call it pigments and like vibrant, I'm kind of like, what? Like those don't go together. Like chalk is pastel to me and then vibrant pigment is like vibrant pigment. So I'm kind of like... I want to see I want to see people review these. I don't think I'm I don't think I'm going to pick these up for myself unless I like the reviews cuz I'm kind of I'm like very skeptical about this. I do like where they're going with it. It's different and I think it's going to be more of like artistic makeup and like like you know when people get the little pots of like eyeliner and they like do all these different types of like looks on their eyes. I feel like you can do those with these. And I feel like that's going to be what it's more geared towards or like makeup for the runway and stuff like that. Like I think that's pretty cool. I just don't know how I feel about it. And I was looking at it too. It's literally like this, like a stick. And then it has those paper. Like you remember those like crayons? I forget what they were called. Like you can do that with normal crayons. But there was like these crayons where basically you would like pull the wrapper around and they would just like... When you need to get lower down the crayon, you had to like pull this off, like that cardboard packaging. You guys have to know what I'm talking about, but that's literally what these are. Like you have to keep peeling them. And I don't know how the tube is going to look because I haven't seen pictures of that recyclable tube that's portable, but you literally have to peel these down and I'm kind of like, huh. I don't know. I think that there's a lot of shades also. So I'm kind of like, those are pretty shades. I'm just, like I said, skeptical to how I feel about this launch, but we'll see. We'll see with reviews. All right, and that was the last brand. So we got through this video, it was very long. So I'm gonna try and edit it and make it as short as possible. But that was a lot to talk about and I'm honestly excited for most of these. I probably won't be picking up everything, like I said, but I like talking about new releases and I hope that you guys too. I like to talk, obviously. I'm a chatterbox, but if you guys want to tell me what releases you liked in the comments, go ahead and let me know. And if you guys want me to like do other releases next week that I haven't seen yet or you're interested in hearing about, tag me on my Instagram, which I'm going to put here. And let me know if you want me to go over these or not. I just think this is a different and I think it's fun and I actually have fun writing down how I feel about everything and... If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. It was nice talking to you guys and I love you. Bye.